When security turns to the subconscious, hello, I'm Douglas A. Gosselin, author of The Secrets of the Republic series, and my new novel, Doctrine of Shadows, is now available on Amazon. I'm also co-author of the Naravox series with Dr. Luscato Signoles. Our first book is False Forward. The algorithm is the weapon. While working with unclassified material, we uncovered government acquisitions from the past two decades you may find surprising. The book is fiction. What follows is not. The distance between the two is razor thin. Subliminals and mind reading. Let's start with the strangest. In Moscow, researchers built a system called Semantic Stimuli Response Measurements Technology, nicknamed Mind Reader 2.0. The premise was bold. Flash subliminal images, faces of terrorists, scenes of attacks, while someone plays a simple computer game, then measure their reflexes. The claim, those hidden reactions could reveal recognition, maybe even intent. Soviet forces reportedly tried it in Afghanistan. Here in the United States, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, considered it during Waco in 1993 and backed away. Years later, in 2007, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, paid to test it. It never left the lab. Scientists say the same thing. Subliminals can shift mood, but they cannot expose intent. The reward if it had worked, was faster screening. The risk, if the wrong people believed in it, was probing the subconscious of every citizen. Imagine being flagged a threat because of a twitch you didn't even know you made. DARPA's influence programs. While that was unfolding, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, was moving into influence itself. One program, Influence Campaign Awareness and Sensemaking, or INCAS, built dashboards to track propaganda campaigns. Good for spotting foreign actors, dangerous if ever aimed at domestic politics. Another social simulation, or social sim, designed engines to predict how memes and narratives spread, useful for anticipating disinformation, risky if used to steer conversation instead of simply studying it. Semantic forensics, or semaphore, created artificial intelligence tools to detect manipulated or synthetic media, essential against deep fakes. But the same label, synthetic, could be stamped on real evidence. Media forensics, or Metifor, is already in use inside FBI and Department of Defense labs. It protects evidence chains, but it can also be used to dismiss inconvenient material as altered. Active Social Engineering Defense, or ASED, was built to shield against phishing and mass deception. But the same methods can be flipped to manipulate not defend, beyond DARPA. And it's not just DARPA. The National Science Foundation, NSF, launched the Convergence Accelerator to create fact-checking and trust systems. That can strengthen civic life. It can also silence dissent if the labels are skewed. The State Department runs the Global Engagement Center, or GEC. Its role is countering foreign propaganda. But what happens if the definition of propaganda shifts? Who decides? The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, has funded contracts to track misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation around elections, a shield for the vote, or a tool to monitor lawful speech. The Intelligence Advanced Research Projects Activity, IARPA, built H-I-A-T-U-S, short for Human Interpretable Attribution of Text. It can catch spies through linguistic fingerprinting. It can also unmask journalists and whistleblowers. IARPA also launched Mosaic, multimodal objective sensing, to assess individuals with context. It tries to read stress and intent through multiple signals. It might detect insider threats. It could just as easily mislabel the innocent and turn suspicion into stigma, where we stand. Some of these programs are running today. Others remain research. All are real. The rewards, stronger defenses, safer elections, authentic evidence. The risks, surveillance creep, narrative control, profiling, and the power to call truth false. And here is the danger. If the wrong people controlled these mechanisms, they would use them in their own self-interest. That could mean censorship expands, anonymity disappears, and trust itself fractures. But in the right hands, 
These tools could protect democratic institutions, expose genuine threats, defend the integrity of media, and give citizens confidence that their voices cannot be drowned out by deception. The challenge is finding a balance, a happy medium, before the wrong version of this technology leaks into the world like a virus escaping a foreign lab. The record exists. The facts are documented. What they mean, that choice is still ours. God bless you all in the United States of America.